Uh, hello. This is Windows XP Help, and I'm gonna show you two tricks for Windows XP. First, first trick is how to enable Command Prompt. Um, first, open up Notepad and type in at mark E C H O and at mark Echo, and then you press Enter. Then you type in command. Then you press enter again. And then type in command dot com. Then you save it as a bat batch file dot bat. So you save it as save as and best place to save is on your des desktop so name it cmd dot bat you need to have the dot bat um at the um right here S and you save and then you will have this and then open it up And then it says echo is on, so well, that's a good sign. Um, then if you want to change someone's password, type in net user the username, for example, admin space star. And then when you press enter. Um, it says to type to type in password for this u the user, and um, yeah, and, th and then you type in pass the password for this user, and then when you press enter, we type the password to confirm. And then when you press enter, it's, um, and if it says the command completed successfully, that means you completed it. The second trick is how to make um a uh, um a uh, a fake error message box. Okay. Um. So open up Notepad and type in a space equal equals m m s g b o x space parenthesis um quote mark and er error has occur period then quote mark space comma sixteen comma space quote mark and type in error error quote mark then parentheses and now you're done this is uh um for example um well if you're finished with this save it as um save as and then name it um error dot vbs visual basic script or something you have to save it as dot vbs in order to work then you save and this scroll looking file should be on your desktop if you save it on your desktop so open up this and then there should be an error coming up yep so um if you want to um change that you want to um this is um inside of the error like the message and this is a title so if you want to type if you want to change it change the inside for example subscribe to windows X xp help and the title should be like 
could be like subscribe and then save and then open up the thing again and then you will see this and you could press buttons too and yeah so thanks for watching